Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Artworks, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And in today's video, you'll see me working on my concept page for my Zombabe Girl. And I had considered calling them Zombays at first, but then I realized that wouldn't really be fair to Glam and Gore because she calls her subscribers Zombays, and that's something that I feel is a trademark of hers even if she doesn't have any trademarks on it, and I wouldn't want to infringe upon that. And on this page, well, and with this video, I'm going to be talking about how I set up my concept page, um, what parts are kind of used for what on the concept page, and just the inspiration that kind of got me from ideal to concept page. So I'll probably start with the inspiration first. And the inspiration for this series of concept pages for zombie pinup girls is that I have been really in the mood for something gory but pretty. And I love me some pinup girls, so I wanted to make me a book full of voluptuous vixens with plentiful pictures of pinups. And I really like the idea of zombie pinups. I've kind of had that idea a couple of times to make these zombie girl pinups. And this is actually the second concept out of three, because yesterday I actually finished three of them, but the third one I finished pretty late, so I didn't share it. And I shared these concept pages on Instagram, and they got a lot of positive response. Like... My Instagram started getting a lot of response as soon as I posted up these Zombabe um, concept pages, and I was very excited. And I think we made about like seven or eight subscribers just last night after posting up these concept pages. Well, I made that many. Um, and it was just so exciting, and I felt so excited every time I noticed that I was getting a like on something, and that I suddenly was getting a subscriber, and I was like, oh my goodness, you like my stuff, you really like my stuff. And I just felt really flattered that so many people suddenly liked it, and thought it was just as great as an ideal as I did. But yeah, I... I just really wanted to make some zombie pinups. Cause like, although I see pinups, I wanted, and I have seen zombie pinups, I wanted to kind of have a series to work off of. And fun fact, my mom's like a diehard zombie fan. Like she's seen most every American zombie film. And so that's kind of influenced me. And as I said, I love pinups. And with this concept book, I'm going to be filling it with just zombie pinup concepts so that I could have a kind of cohesive series. And the overarching theme with the idea of this series of images or concepts is that I can then make a recreatable and printable series of finished works that I can sell as prints. Um, in the future. And who doesn't love pinups? Like, they're kind of just this timely, well, timeless, not timely, <laughs> timeless kind of theme that everyone just adores. And I adore pinups. Obviously, um, you guys on Instagram really loved my zombie pinups. So there's kind of the inspiration. So a bit on like how I structure my concept page. Um, how I structure my concept page is that I have one finalized sketch area, which is a five by six inch space that is given a second border that's like half a centimeter. So it's like, it's more like four and three fourths and five and three fourths with a bit of bleed space. And then we have the head, which is in front view, 
right profile, left profile, back view, and one full body view of the character as we can see them. And then there's two rough ideals for what the final pose will be for the character. And I'll usually work from whichever pose I liked best. And I've seen that it's tended to be whatever first pose I draw. And I don't know, I think that first pose I end up drawing looks very dynamic and I love how that looks. Right now you can see me working out on the miniature of her. With the miniature of the full body, you can see where my ideals for attire, overall palette, and what's kind of the physical dynamics like. Is she curvier? Is she taller? Is she smaller? Is she thin? Is she athletic? Is she a bit more tan? Is her body going through different levels of degrading or decomposing? For instance, this character has a hand that is separated from the forearm. Well, actually, it's like there's no forearm. There's no meat on that forearm. So her hand's gone gangrenous, which is why it's green. And whenever I'm doing those little full bodies, I'm making a sort of palette to work with. And I decide from that palette, from the clothes, um, what would work to make the colors better in the more finalized drawing. And if you've seen me on Instagram, uh, you can see that when I posted up this picture that I really loved the stiletto go-go boots. Like, they were my favorite. And when it came to designing this character, I knew that what I wanted for her is that I wanted her to be curvy, I wanted her to have a heart-shaped face, and I wanted her to have short hair. And those were kind of the main things that I went with for when it came to designing this pinup zombabe. And I kind of just, I rolled with that. So I'm very happy with it. I think it kind of looks like one of my friends. I mean, shout out to you, uh, my Josie girl, if you're seeing this. Um, but I think Kirby girls need some good representation in the pinup world. And there are some artists that have worked with like curvier girls. And it's very fun to see. Um, other than that, I don't know really what else to talk about, so I'll probably lay out some sick tunes for you guys to listen to and then wrap it up.
Woo! That song had me be bopping around my house, listening to it. And we got like just four and a half more minutes, so I figured I'd finish out the video with some um, conversation and updates. Yeah, uh, just a minute ago I just got a new follower on Instagram and that made me happy. So, I guess... Shout out to Vahe Gregorian Art. Sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> Oh, just so excited. Uh, I think we were, yeah, we're in the last bits of coloring in using some complementary tones on our skin and showing that that hand is going to be green for, for you to kind of express that whole gangrenous bit. <laughs> just really excited today, I guess. <laughs> um, so as I've mentioned, probably, I have an Instagram. I've mentioned this probably once already. Or maybe I did that the first time I was trying to record. ab.makeit.artworks. You'll find my similar profile picture that I use for my YouTube, for my Instagram. And I also have a Pinterest that also goes by ab art, make it artwork, like my YouTube. And I have an email, so if you guys have any, like, questions for or requests for things I can talk about or maybe even draw, you can send those kind of questions or requests for future videos to the email or even just, like, comment in the comment section below. I love it when you guys give me a thumbs up saying I'm doing a good job. I like it when you comment saying what you like about the video or with your inquiries about what I'm doing and just like spread that love show like share that work share that artwork don't be selfish share that artwork so I can continue to do what I do to share my artwork with you and sillies um, if you haven't subscribed to me already Maybe subscribe <laughs> so that you can stick around for more sketchy content from me and see more of my art rants, my art rambles, my doodle times, and my art projects like this one. And I hope you guys are having like a wonderful day. It's, Cause I know I'm having a fun one thus far. It's been a pretty good day. Good day today. A good day today. I have like another minute to go. <laughs> hmm. Other than that, like I said, I have an Instagram, I have a Pinterest. You know I got a YouTube because you're on my channel. There. I got an email. I'll probably pin that as the top comment so that you guys can have that information. You know the deal. By this point, you know the spiel. Like, comment, subscribe share with your friends, share with your family, because who doesn't love a bodacious zombie pinup? And other than that, all I can say, hope for you guys is that you have a wonderful day, that it is filled with many a sketchy doodle time, and that you continue to do what you do to make that artwork for you. <laughs> So much love for you guys. So much love to still be had. And other than that, hope you have a wonderful day. Lots of love. Bye.